guys. I thought you'd like to see the new proton pack kit from Rabbit Prototypes. It's called the Positron. Let me just turn around here so you can see the back, and I'll power it up. Sorry about the rumbling noise coming from the uh, pack. That's uh, because the shell is a bit loose right now. That's just from the, uh, the speaker of the bass. So, let me uh, flip on the activate switch on the thrower here. So you can see that animation. Now the thrower is in standby mode. And you can see the uh, LED over here by the uh, clipper is blinking slowly. And the bar graph has this animation. And when I flip the grill light, that comes on. The bar graph animation changes. And the clipper light goes solid. And inside here, you can see the optional super bright grill light. Um, if you don't elect to have that option, then it comes with a standard LED, which you can put in there. But this is extremely bright, and uh, like the films, you can actually see the uh, lines of the grill on your uh, uniform when you're hand holding the uh, thrower. So, now we are ready to fire, and I will push the black push button here. Now, I don't know if you can hear that, but inside there's a vibration motor which is going. I don't think you'll be able to see in there. But you may also notice that the uh, grill is animating as I fire. And this LED over here is the capture LED, indicating that you're pushing the capture button. I'll fire directly into the camera so you can see that. That is a 3-watt uh, LED on the front of there, and at night, it is extremely bright. I'm going to show you the uh, bar graph animation on here. I don't know if I get it up close. You also notice when I'm firing with a capture LED, that the pack isn't heating up. When I fire with the, uh, the blast stream, which is the red push button, you'll see the pack gets... Uh, faster and faster as you fire for a longer period of time. So now I'll fire with the red push button. Now you'll notice the bar graph is speeding up. And when it gets fast enough, the orange LED begins to blink and the overheat LED starts blinking. And you saw the animation there for the uh, bar graph as it uh, cooled down. Um, now, if you want to cross the streams, you can press both the black and the red push buttons at the same time. And that causes an instant overheat, just like in the video game. Now, let's say that you've been firing the pack for a little while. And it's getting a little bit warm, and you want to cool it down. You can flip the grill light off, go back into standby mode, push the red button, and you've now done a quick event of the pack. Now, if you have a smoke kit, um, you can have you can actually have two smoke kits if you wish. Um, one for quick venting and uh, one for overload venting, and you can have different amounts of smoke. They uh, last for different periods of time. They trigger the relays. Um, these smoke kits which I'm talking about aren't something which I sell myself. That's uh, something made by uh, Fincher and Son. So if you want one of those you can uh, contact me and I can uh, let you know where to get one. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you here is the uh, slow blow switch, the mode switch as I call it. When you flip that on, you'll notice that the slow blow light came on. And 
you are now in video game proton thrower mode. And in video game proton thrower mode, the sound effects change. Oops. <laughs> I just showed you something I wasn't supposed to show you yet. Um, so I flip on the uh, grill light here, push the uh, capture button. Sound effects are different. And uh, one other thing I want to demonstrate to you. Oops. Uh, I forgot to show you the back of the pack when you're heating it up and overloading it. So I will fire the, uh, the blast string here. Now, as I showed you a moment ago, um, when I flip uh, off the grill light, the black push button can now switch between the uh, different modes after I turn on the slow blow. Has to be, slow blow has to be on to be in video game mode and to get the additional weapons. So, push the black push button and you can go into a, a stasis mode. Um, has changed and the cyclotron lights have changed color. Now, when I flip this on, I start firing. You can hear different sound effects and the LED has changed color. And you can uh, cross the strands in this mode as well, if you, if you wish. And uh, you notice, you also hear a sound effect of the uh, mode activating. Each mode has a different sound effect for that. So like the proton thrower has the uh, sound of the uh, proton uh, thrower powering up like you would hear in the movie. Um, next I'm going to go into slime thrower mode. The lady has changed color again. You may be able to hear the slime sounds if you look at the cyclotron, it's not animating differently. It's animating in like a cross sine wave pattern. And fire. Oops, did it again. Colors again, and you can fire in this mode forever if you wish. And the uh, blast frame or the uh, slime tether, if you keep firing that, unlike the other modes, you don't overheat, you run out of slime color. Now, you can also uh, refill the slime and the animation will be reversed on the other modes. So, like I said before, in order to do the venting, you flip off the grill light and you push the red push button. So, now we'll go into the uh, Mason Collider mode. That's where the LED is yellow. On the back, you get the standard cyclotron animation again. You can hear electrical stuff going on in there. I keep doing that. So, um, that's the Mason Collider. Now, if you are in the video game mode, and, uh, oops, did the opposite of what I was doing before. All right, so if you're in the video game mode and uh, you want to go back to the proton thrower mode immediately, so, so you're in slime thrower, 
All you have to do is flip off the slow blow switch and now you're back in a proton thrower mode instantly. And if you go back into the video game mode, you're in proton thrower mode. So if you ever want to reset back to proton thrower mode, you just flip the mode switch down, turn that off, turn it back on. It's a fast way to get there. Um, let's see. Is there anything else that I haven't uh, shown you yet on this thing? Well, there is one thing, and I'm going to save that for a second video. That is the, uh, the party mode. And uh, I'm going to save that for another video because uh, I don't know if the uh, music that will be in that will cause, a, uh, cause the video to be blocked in certain countries. So I'll put up a link on the video for you to click to uh, see the party mode, and I'll do that in the next video. Um, just trying to think here if there's anything else that I've forgotten. I don't think so. So, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed it.